In the field of process mining, we're analyzing business processes using event log data or data about the process. And our goal here is to improve those processes to make them better. So here's what this looks like. We start with process data or event logs, and we turn those into process maps so we can understand what's happening in the process. And then we can use those maps to generate process insights or ways to improve or make those processes better. Now, as a note though, in a business, we have processes and we have projects. Processes are ongoing, they're repeatable, and projects are temporary, they don't last forever. And a business is gonna have hundreds or thousands potentially of processes, there's lots of them. Things like shipping orders, hiring employees, paying suppliers, the list goes on. And our goal is to improve those processes, to keep making them better. Now, process mapping, which is one piece of process mining, helps us understand and improve those processes. It gives us a lot of good information. So here's an example of a process map for shipping items in our business. We pick the order, then we check to see if it's correct. If it's correct, we pack it, we send it to the carrier, and then we deliver it to our customers. Now with process mining, these tools can auto-generate these process maps. This was generated from a process mining tool. And you can use this to drill down and explore the process to identify ways to make it better. Now, as we do this, we need to talk about as is and to be versions of our process. The as is is where we are today and the to be is where we'd like to be. With process mining tools, they're gonna to generate the as is process. However, the insights from this can help us improve our process, get it to a to be state in the future or where we'd like it to be. Now, one of the nice things about process mining is it's an objective approach. It's data driven. It's not someone's opinion about the process. These tools generate the process maps based on the data that's provided to it. So it helps us uncover what the process actually is versus what we think it is. Oftentimes we tend to think the process is more simple than it actually is. It can uncover a lot of interesting information for us. Now, because the process mining practice is objective, it can show deviations in the process as well as rework and bottlenecks. It gives us a lot of good information, again, about how to make these improvements. Now, to make this all happen though, we need event log data. We've got to provide these tools, the process data. So here's an example of an event log. This is at a doctor's office. And what this is going to include is a case ID. So who's involved in the process. It's going to include an activity. So what's happening and then a timestamp when these things are occurring. So you can see we've got a patient 10065 that goes through several steps, sign in, triage, blood test, and payment. And these timestamps help us track the process. Now in these event logs, you could have additional information beyond this, like resource and cost information, but that's not required necessarily. You need to have the case ID, an activity, and a timestamp, those three pieces to make this possible. So as a recap, we start with process data or event logs. We turn those into process maps to understand our process. And then we use those maps to generate insights about our process to find ways to make them better. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. And if you're interested in other analytics cheat sheets and resources, you can find them over at codybaldwin.com.